Know the source of the spirulina and chlorella that you take. It's very important. Hi, Bob McCauley, uh, owner of the Watershed Wellness Center, watershed.net. Um, there's a lot of companies out there selling spirulina and chlorella, but where does it come from? Uh, there's a lot of companies that add um, spirulina and chlorella to their nutritional products. I see nutritional bars, uh, nutritional, you know, whatever you want to call them, candy bars, if you want to call them that, but they're made out of raw fruits and vegetables, which is great. Um, but you find spirulina and chlorella in those super green foods, or they've got 20, 30 different foods. And then you'll see crack cell chlorella, or you'll see spirulina. And if you call those companies up, you should be able to find out where did it come from. It should be able to tell you exactly where the source is. It shouldn't be any secret. Um, why would it be? Um, most companies, if you do call them up, they're going to tell you, well, it comes from China, especially the chlorella comes from China. But where in China? What producer? Um, let me tell you, there's some really bad producers out there. Um, if they, you know, they, they, they're, they either don't know because they bought it from a broker and the broker didn't bother to tell them where it came from because they nobody really cares. It's just as really inexpensive and so they got a great price on it. Or they're embarrassed to say they know nothing about the producer. They don't know where this came from. It's just a spirulina grown in, well, we don't even know the country. And if somebody can't tell you that on the phone, you really need to be worried. I, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch the product. What you want to ask for when you call up a company or you get online, you want to ask for the COA, Certificate of Analysis. You want to know what came with that. This is a typical example of a COA. This one came from the Taiwan Chlorella Manufacturing Company, and where we get our freely and chlorella from. And, um, you know, we get that with every single batch of chlorella that we buy. And, and if we buy uh, a thousand kilos or two thousand kilos and that turned out to be a couple of batches, we'll get two COAs from each one of those batches. So it's very key that you get that piece of paper with everything that you order. And you don't want to confuse it with this. This is also a certificate of analysis, but this is a nutritional analysis. Okay, this comes from uh, Japan Food Research Laboratories. Very, very expensive. This is done on uh, chlorella. It tells you every single last um, nutrient that you're going to find in chlorella and uh, all the fatty acids, all the amino acids, everything you're going to find in there is, is been laid out. Very, very expensive to run that kind of a report, but that is not what that is. That is going to tell you where it came from and it's going to tell you things like the bacteria count and the theophobides that you're going to want to take a, a close look at. Maybe the amount of iron or calcium that might be in that particular bats. But always ask for that. Um, that COA. And if they can't produce it, um, you know, there's a problem. We're the only company that actually, you know, uh, offers something like this on our website. You can go right to it and find it if you just go to our search engine on watershed.net and look for COA or certificate of analysis or anything like that. It'll pop up. You'll see the PDF and you can download it or scrutinize it or do whatever. You ask questions, call us up. Uh, we'll get them answered for you. Now, there's chlorella that's grown in Taiwan. Most of it's very good, but there's a couple of companies in Taiwan that really don't grow very good uh, chlorella at all, and you need to be aware of that. So ask them once again, where did it come from? I mean, I think the largest reseller of chlorella on the market does not offer people COA and tell them where they get their chlorella. They claim maybe to grow it themselves, but then if that's the truth, then they should give you a COA that tells your country of origin and everything like that. It would be very interesting to see what their answer is to something like this, uh, asking for a COA, not a nutritional profile. Anybody can give that to you. It doesn't even have to be for that particular product. Um, chlorella is grown in Japan, usually good quality. It's vulgaris, though, not pyrenidosa. What comes out of Taiwan usually is pyrenidosa. There is some vulgaris. Pyrenidosa is a superior strain to vulgaris, in my opinion, but uh, there's nothing wrong with vulgaris. Um, I'd be more than happy to consume that. There's chlorella uh, that comes from Korea. Um, most of that uh, that you're going to find in the market has been fermented in ta tanks. It's never seen the light of day. It's very inexpensive. Um, but how you get chlorophyll out of fermentation is beyond me, and uh, I don't like the taste of it, and I really don't like it when I take it, but I don't think it's a bad product or anything. I've never heard of anyone getting sick from it or anything, anything like that. Now there's chlorella from China. That's what you really need to be aware of because um, be very careful. Know the plant, and if you were actually going to buy some of this stuff in any great quantities, you would really want to visit the plant over there and find out what they're doing and how they're doing it because uh, they are notorious for just taking product and getting it out the back door as fast as they can without really caring about what they're selling or what kind of quality they've got. 
Um, there's uh, spirulina, for instance, from Hawaii, very expensive, good quality. Uh, there's spirulina from Taiwan, uh, very, very high quality, not too expensive, usually um, pretty mid-range as far as uh, of, of price. Um, there's spirulina from India, it's certified organic. Almost everything that comes out of India is certified organic, uh, but it's very expensive and very, very, uh, very, very high quality. Um, but the spirulina coming out of China as well as the chlorella coming out of China, you'd want to be very, very careful of that. Um, some of it is grown in big lakes up in the north of China. Um, you got to really be dubious to make sure you know your, your source. And if it came out of China and somebody just said this is the source of China, I wouldn't touch it. I want to know exactly what plant it came out, uh, out of. And personally, um, the way what I know about chlorella, I'd want to visit that plant. I would want to go there and make sure they're kind of getting get some sta standards. Because what they're doing over in China a lot with this stuff, both the spirulina and chlorella, it's being irradiated. And uh, this gets the bacteria down. They don't have to worry about anything. Nobody's going to get sick. And they get it out the back door as, possibly, as fast as they possibly can. They all, might only harvest a few times a, di a year compared to, you know, with uh, things grown in a controlled environment. You harvest every five to ten days depending on where you where you're cultivating your, your algae and, um, you know, the growing conditions at that particular time of the year. So uh, anyway, everything should come with a COA. If it doesn't, be wary of it. Know your source for spirulina and chlorella. It'll uh, be one of the most important things you can do if you're going to start consuming algae. And everyone, vegans, vegetarians, uh, carnivores, omnivores, everybody needs to put algae on their diet. It's the nutritional basis of my life and what I take every single day, what I use for my protein. I'd be lost without algae, without spirulina and chlorella.